this chess top mark. And here's some magnificent skills shown by Gavin Wang. And he looked eye on the ball all the time, never lost control of, of super mark. Now the next one, Wayne Carey again. Look, front position, good forward play and hugs it to the chest, top mark. Brian Royal, who's in great form, good strong hands, kept his eye right on the ball and played that mark very nicely. Now this is Darren the Doc Wielden, two bites of the cherry, but uh, presence of mind to duck back and take it on the second bite. But Bob, that's the smallest group I've ever seen. I went up upstairs looking for a bit of old black and white film of you to add to the list. I'll bring in some box brownies. <laughs> that will be good. One over John Coleman. John Coleman. Lou Richards what? more like. He mustn't have been a <laughs> John Coleman. Very nice, Mark. You see, the control he's got brings the ball, breaks it to one hand, drops it down his other and never loses control. A very nice, courageous, strong, skillful Mark. Good on you, Bobby. Gee, I hope John, poor old John Coleman didn't have boils on his back the day you went over the back of him, uh, Bobby. <laughs> Tried to punch. Now, the round by round winners, um, some of them from round seven on. Uh, kick it from uh, St Kilda Dale, Bradley Wilden, Dean Ruse, and Wanganeen. So, terrific performance there by Gavin Wanganeen. Not only uh, getting the three votes to, uh, from the match, but also one of the marks of the week. Okay, um, name of the game. This is the video that's on offer at the moment. Uh, terrific uh, video offer 008 035 665. Price from just under $35. It's a toll free number. It's manned at the moment. We can take your order or send you a catalogue. It's some of the great games over the years from Australia Football Videos. Name a game. And the office hours Monday to Friday, I guess 9 to 5 on that number 008 035 Okay, we'll take a break. Goals of the week coming up after this. From real life, a special close-up. The Mighty Saints took their first flag. And the 1977 flag. North Melbourne There's double pack. Featuring the grand final draw and replay against Collingwood. These two videos show the Roos winning their second flag in three years. These historic football contests are an essential part of any sports library. Why is he here? Everyone's heard the pizzas are on Dad. I love you, Mr. Kelly. Don't bother about the anchovies, Mr. Kelly. I'll be throwing up anyway. Hey, Dad, Wednesday. <laughs> uh, welcome back to the program. Uh, the best of Bob Davis at the end of the show in just a moment. Uh, but the Double Ds are going to have a look at the goals of the week. Don and Dennis in just a sec. The goal of the week and the goal of the year are brought to you by BP. BP, on the move. Well, we went to Adelaide last week and a forward pocket specialist, Daryl Hart. He's got great anticipation patient reading it off the hands of the pack. That time he screws one with the left foot. Darren Baxter with the left foot under pressure, snapping at the Western Oval last Sunday. The mercurial, John McCarthy. He can do anything, that fellow, and he puts his mind to it. The next one is Flower-esque in the pocket. Flower. <laughs> Dean Kemp, this is a terrific goal. Has to keep in mind where the boundary is, keep the ball in and snaps the goal. Greasy ball gets the goal. I was going to be critical of Peter Sumich because here he's got no shows, he's no right foot, but what, what does he need a right foot for when he can kick left foot goals like that? That is a fantastic kick for goal. Yesterday at Prince's Park, Harry Stanfield. Storming up the ground from outside the 50, long bomb, and through it goes. Great upper body strength going to be shown here by Tony Liberatore. It's important for footballers to have great upper body strength. He's only small. That's a terrific effort from the defender. The next goal is rather hard to assess. It's very clever. He goes with the left foot, Simon Atkins, from about 25 metres out and gets a goal. This goal turns me on. Oh. Oh, look at it. That is fantastic. Well done, Stephen Wallace. Oh. Here's Todd Ridley. I'm a worried man. Here's Ridley from about five metres out. Look at this. One. Two. Three. What comes after three? Quick. Five, eight, nine. What a magnificent goal. Eight bounces. Eight. Eight. I got lost after three. I'm, I'm sick of the responsibility of prompting you. Too. Who did you go for? Who did we go for? Well, I liked Simon Atkins, but I've got to agree with you. Dean Kemp. Dean I thought Kemp, that was a goal. terrific goal. One foot over the boundary line. 
but he still could twist and turn, pirouette, do whatever he wanted to do. Troy Eugel in there contesting, but watch Kemp. A lot to think about here, isn't there? Yeah. Well trapped, but still gets out of it. That's a terrific effort. And the placement of the ball on his foot to bring it around was magnificent also. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, all round, Bobby, wasn't it? So Kemp joins Kickett, that's the St Kilda Kickett, Dacos, the Essendon Kickett, Krasiska Hinkley, and six other players, round by round winners of the goal of the week. Dunstall leads, not much action in the goal kickers. Uh, Del Rey